Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a special story. Now, I'm going to make this very sweet, like the color pink. And yes, I am not a uh, racist toward pink because I have a pink shirt on today. And as you can tell, the background is pink, but that's due to the video lighting. Now, one thing I will say is this right here is that you can't trust everything that somebody say. And also, you cannot trust everything that look pink. Don't think that it's going to be sweet and nice because sometimes, look, what look good may hurt you the most. Now, we have a lady in question who go by the name of Chef P, Chef Pie. If I'm saying your name wrong, boo-boo, I am so sorry. I am so sorry because people told me five different ways that say your name, like tomato, tomato, which one is it? But one thing I will say is this right here, this woman has been brought to the light due to the fact that she's out here selling, yes, yes, some of you all know already, the pink sauce, yes. The only pink sauce that I always knew about was Pepto-Bismol. But from what I heard, if this product ain't got corrected by now, some of you all had already experienced what that aftermath is about. Now, the reason for this video is because people were asking me to make this video, and number one, big shout out to the channel members for sending me this video and asking me to speak on it. And I hope none of you all didn't buy this until it is FDA approved because as of now it is not FDA approved and I'm not going to put a damn thing in my body that is not FDA approved but I'm going to ask you this question two times in this video I'm going to ask you something just twice and that is do y'all think that this woman is scamming Michelle P do you all think that she is scamming the people by selling this $20 yes $20 pink sauce I mean damn Hines and Del Monte ain't even that damn high but one thing about it, I am not going to knock nobody hustle. We just trying to make sure the stuff is edible. Because if it is, I'm going to send a few people uh, a batch of it. And even if it's not edible, I'm still going to send a couple people a batch of it. Because I want them to uh, feel my pain. Now, what is really shocking about this whole incident is the fact that not only is this not FDA approved, but the fact that how this product was shipped. And also, the response that she gave to a few of these people now, from what I heard, this stuff was shipped in a bottle, but it's not being shipped in a bottle anymore. She basically changed that to a plastic wrapping, as you all see right here. And my thing is this right here. Now, if you're a chef and you so-called own the restaurant or whatnot, you rent the restaurant, no matter in what capacity, if you have any kind of food experience, you know damn well one thing, you do not ship certain products without preservatives you know you have to ship certain things with preservative look on the back of your food items in your pantry your refrigerator anything anything that has shelf life most likely has preservatives let's say that again any food items that have shelf life most likely have preservatives in it because if not it will be spoiled preservatives are just short for what preserve means to keep yeah we teaching today but anyway now what really shocks me also about this situation is the fact that how this product was shipped. Who in the hell shipped a product like this in a damn butcher paper? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been inside a deli or a butcher shop and you see them roll up this meat or whatever, the meat that you get from these uh, shops, and they put your meat inside this white uh, packaging or whatnot? That's exactly what they look like. Like whatever happened to sending this stuff in a box? If you have perishable items or whatnot, and you have items that can be damaged easily, shouldn't you not put those items in a box like FedEx and Amazon and everybody else do? Now imagine if you order something from Amazon and it came in butcher paper. You'll be mad as hell too. But I'm going to tell you all this right here. Be careful the things you buy on the internet. Just because somebody look a certain way may look good to you or the words they saying out their mouth may sound sweet to your ears, do not trust everybody that you hear or see. Now I'm not calling Miss Chef P a liar because that will come out in due time. But one thing I will say is this right here. Before you sell people anything, especially something that's going to somebody's body, you should have the necessary testing done. You should have the FDA approval also if you sell it to a mass quantity of people because I understand that the FDA don't really get involved in certain matters when it's really low. You have to really bring it to their attention and then they will shut the people down. You know what I'm saying? But if it's something local or, you know, just a few people, the FDA don't too much get involved. But unless they start receiving complaints, that's when they get involved, no matter if you're big or small. So be very careful because you're shipping this stuff nationwide in 100 degree heat. Some areas 105. And guess what? You cannot ship certain things there. But one thing that did catch my eye was the fact that this product, some kind of way, changed colors through different videos. One minute it'll be a light pink. Next video it'll be a dark pink. 
Next video, it'll be like a neon pink. So why is the color changing like that? And also, people were asking Chef P, what is in this product? What do you put inside this product to make it has this color? And also, what does it taste like? And even then, she couldn't even describe the taste of the people. She basically said the taste tastes sweet and savory. Now, that can mean a lot of different things. But she said these are some of the products that is in this uh, pink sauce. And one of them is dragon fruit, sunflower seed oil, chili, honey, and garlic. What a hell of a damn recipe. She says that is what's in this sauce. But I think it's a little bit more in the sauce. People saying it's mayonnaise in this sauce also. And she said like 2% milk. I think that's dried milk. But, you know, if you shipping something and it has mayonnaise in it, and you know mayonnaise spoils, should you not have preservatives inside this product also? Should you not have done a thorough lab test to make sure this product is edible? Because I'm sure right now you have a couple people sitting on the toilet shaking their damn head like, why in the hell did I buy this from TikTok? And their booty sounded just like this. But before you buy anything off the internet, be very careful of the things that you buy. And also make sure the stuff is FDA approved because remember, you're ingesting the stuff. You're putting the stuff inside your body. You know, the reason why a lot of people get sick and also the reason why a lot of people have cancer in this world, even though they won't tell you the truth, is the things they ingest in their body. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people, and I don't even think cancer is uh, hereditary. Now, cancer has nothing to do with this video but it does have something to do with the video because you just never know what you may put in your body that will later develop cancer. I mean, if you get cancer from all kinds of other things, should you not be weary that you can get cancer from products that have not been FDA approved? Now, look, nobody is trying to stop nobody from being a businesswoman or businessman. We applaud that. We salute that. We promote that. But one thing about it, you have to do things the right way. You know what I'm saying? Just like Keith Sweat said, there's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. Guess what? There's a right and a wrong way to do things in life. There's a right and a wrong way to take care of business. And this is clearly not the way because evidently you are more focused on the money than you is the product itself. The money is going to come as long as the product is good. That's what a lot of people don't understand. That's even with vlogging, YouTube, or whatever. As long as you do a good job, guess what? You will get to where you want to be. So focus on the product itself and then focus on the uh, revenue, the money in the end because that will come just because you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're doing a good job. But if you're selling people products, make sure you have the name right on the label. And who in the hell spell vinegar? Vinegar. I know damn well they don't spell it like that in Miami. You all let me know. But one thing I will tell you this right here. If you bought this product and you watch this channel, and no matter if you like the product or not, will you please uh, leave me a comment in the comment section or email me and let me know how this product tastes. And also, did it make you sick or was it really good to the taste? Just let me know because I really want to you know, find out the truth about this. But if you're shipping a product across the country, make sure that you at least put the money into the product that is. You know what I'm saying? Stop shipping products in butcher paper, paper that is wrapped up like you sent in the damn thank you card or something. But you should take this very seriously, Michelle P, because if people get sick, yes, there will be lawsuits coming. But at the same time, you know, be careful of what you're doing. And also to sit up here and tell the people that you're only human and you make mistakes we know you're only human. You make mistakes. I make mistakes. But one thing about it, when you sell a food product to people, you have to be very careful. You have to be perfect. There's no room for error because even big companies get sued. I mean, can you handle a recall? If you had to recall 10,000 pink sauce bottles, would you be able to do that and refund these people their money at the same time? I don't think so. So let's take this seriously. And also let us know if there is any new developments in your product or whatnot because it really needs to be lab tested and also FDA approved. Now, when she's saying that it's being lab tested, I mean, should you not have done all the testing before you put the product out to the masses? That's just what I want to know. But I'm going to ask you all this once again. Do you think that this is a legit product or do you think that Michelle P is scamming the people? And also, for people who bought this product, let me know how it tastes, whether it's good or bad. That way we can make an update to this video. And also, if you have dreams of being an entrepreneur, a small business owner. I salute you, but at the same time, do things the right way in life. That way, can't nobody say nothing about you unless they hate you. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. So next time, you all stay blessed, and I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.